Okay, so here we are to take a logging run in Bend. And it was 38 miles to begin the dirt road to pick it up. And so it's way outside of town. So I still have 21 miles of dirt road just to pick up the logs. And a warning on these. Um, so I have zero damage right now. Um, because you can incur damage on these dirt roads a lot. Very easily. Right there, you hear that? That that wasn't anything. And I'm going like 13. So I've gotten five up to five and six percent damage on these roads. It's twenty miles there and twenty miles back before you can get on the paved road with your logs. So you're always late on these, or nearly late. And, uh, I would say stay under 20 miles an hour at, at the most, like 10 or 15. Because you don't even see anything and you hear that big crunch bang and you incur some damage. Now this will get to a a gravel road. It's a dark, it's a light gray. I guess it's gravel, but it's no less rough. Hear that? That was force feedback hit hit pretty hard when you heard that. That was no damage. I think if you go if you keep it under 20, uh, but even then I've gotten some damage, man. Well, you wanted logging in Oregon. You got it. I've already done lumberjack, and that's how I know to go slow down these roads. I started off flying down these roads like 30. And the sign back there said 35. See, there was damage. There's 1%. And I'm what? Okay, well, I'm three quarters of the way there. On the, on the end trip to pick up. There's nothing on the road. It's just hitting something it's unseen. I don't know where to drive on the road. doesn't seem to make any difference. There's a big log there. Branch. Maybe there's something in the middle of the road. There's a home pit in the bottom. Stay on one side of it. I've never gotten out of there without at least one or two percent damage. Three. It's just I wasn't going fast back there. I didn't see anything. Still got you. Mm. It's pretty cool all the C 
scenery they got going on. But you'll be late on these if you don't get to it. Got those big bumpers and bull bars. Uh, you have catch that stuff. I got a pretty narrow bumper on this one. <clears throat> I think, oh, it's not too bad. <clears throat> I can go 50 th down here. Go ahead. Make a stop at the truck shop for repairs on your way. Make you late. I can't say for sure, but I. As soon as I say it, I'll, I'll get a damage watch. I think it might be better to stay on one side of that. Must be stuff in the middle. I'm doing 25, 27 here and it hasn't hit anything. on this stuff. That's a rock right on the outside of the corner for you. Just to make it interesting. Hmm. Okay, well, I would definitely say stay to one side of the road, stay off the you know, that berm in the middle, down the middle of your undercarriage. Now I only got 188 miles to go. Mm. And 
we're hauling logs, Oregon. Bend is one of the five cities you have to haul logs from for the lumberjack achievement if you care about that. Steam achievement and on corn brokers. They're way outside of town. This one wasn't too bad. It was like 38 miles to get there. <coughs> but I've had them 100 miles outside of town. And the job time starts when you know you go to pick it up. There's 100 miles just to pick it up and then 100 miles back. Say, uh, well, part of that is to get back to the road and I don't know which way you'll be going, but they're way outside of town and then several miles off road. Well, I haven't checked the time. <clears throat> that wasn't too bad. I just say, uh, when you get it and get on the road, put the hammer down. Of course, the AI is as bad as ever. They just slow you down, then they'll take off, then they'll go. That's their programming. Slow you down, interfere. I thought at one time, right, Flashing bright might do something, but that must have just been coincidental that they move over. Look at this road, it's packed. They said they tried to set it up so you would uh, work the whole supply chain um, from logs to the mill and the mill to the furniture store and then the furniture store, the furniture manufacturing plant to the, yeah, figured. Would you turn if you, in front of a truck coming at 60 on a green light like that? Probably would, huh? So you would work the whole chain all the way from a log to a piece of furniture delivered to the retail store. Through the sawmill to the manufacturing plant. Furniture manufacturing to uh, the retail store for sale, completed furniture. But they ship wood to China and make the furniture, it's that much cheaper and then ship it back. So they just cut down the wood and ship it to China and make the furniture over there. That's how cheap they are. There's your corporations nowadays, American companies. Care about America and you. Profit, 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 profit margin. They can get Chinese to do it for 12 cents an hour. Why are they going to pay you $22 an hour plus benefits to make furniture? <laughs> Nothing's made here. If it is, it's ten times the, the price. If you've seen anything made out of real wood, <laughs> even a little end table or chair. Well, I guess the guy that, you know, makes $50 an hour in the furniture factory can afford that. The rest of us are buying sawdust furniture at uh, Walbert in the box and put it together with little screws. I don't know how 
how heavy logs are, they don't feel too especially heavy. 50,000, 40, kind of. I could break 100 if I wanted to. That threw me. I actually, believe it or not, put one of these up with a load of logs. I put my truck up on uh, uh, nine wheels just for a second around it. I turned sharp on a bend. I went into a bend too fast like this. And it went up and just <laughs> lifted the one side of it a little. And then I let off and came back down. I wasn't recording. It was just for a second, but that was pretty exciting. Kids don't turn sharp with a load of logs. Don't speed. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Always stop for red lights. Clean your room. off your fellow trucker hauling a digger like that. Wait for your green light. Accelerate smoothly in the on-ramp and yield to oncoming log truck. <laughs> or is he supposed to yield to me? Your AI is something else, man. Bit of the trailer. We won't see him again. Between their on ramps and their AI, the on ramps are a disaster. They made a whole new state and jobs and everything. And they, did you see that Clifton? There's new uh, road and Here's Eugene. There's a new road in uh, Arizona. It goes into New Mexico a little bit. Uh, Clifton. Uh, look at your map. You'll see untraveled road there. Uh, 161, I believe. It goes north to south, south to north. Uh, it's got some beautiful scenery. I drove it. Uh, and there's some jobs in Clifton. It's Arizona. Look at your map. That's a new area too. It's uh, really well done. It's tunnels and small roads. It's pretty cool. Watch these take a sharp turn right here. It's not a smooth continuous radius. That was a pretty short run. Uh, seemed like half of it was driving on the dirt road to get the log back. And we just had that 1% damage. So good. That was an easy one. That was a uh, bend. Morgan uh, log run. it okay well they always do that when you see cars on your <laughs> anywhere around you look for a turn because they're there to block you getting off the freeway and getting on the freeway look at this X is now here so you can't swing wide that's bull hockey That's bull hockey. Oh, 
What's that crap? I don't need to do that. You'll never get a green light. Not one in a million, so just go. So this is the raw wood to the mill. And then you can pick up here boards, I guess, to take to the furniture factory. Uh, this makes paper. Sorry logs, you don't get to be a nice chair table. You get to be paper for our printers. trailer that's why I hesitated a second when you're using your trailer you offload you shut down the engine and offload not T drop the trailer like you're so used to doing you know I mean I've got about five trailers now you get different kind of jobs you use your trailer so definitely at least get the flatbed to start that's only 30,000 check it out the trailer dealers okay there's your logs from Ben to I don't know where we are the paper mill see on the flip side adios